because you know maybe I'm deluding myself, but I don't think they felt censored by me that night. They all knew they had the power of veto. I think the reason they didn't speak up is fundamentally more human than that. Because I was afraid that if I left that man on the hill, he would die. And that's why I took more risk than I normally would have. But I was also afraid of what people would think of me if I left that man on the hill and he died. And that's why I took more risk than I should have. And I bet you that's exactly what they were scared of too. Because we're more afraid of things that won't kill us than things that will. And it turns out everyone around you, everyone in your team, is just as scared of the stuff as you are, okay? And I'm not saying that to diminish them or to make me feel better. This was a light bulb moment for me. Because remember I said, our rejectors are not our adversaries. They're an essential part of their, our team and they need to be able to challenge us and speak up. But what that story demonstrates is that speaking up is scary because they've got to face their own fear of rejection to do that. What that story demonstrates is it's not just us as leaders that need to be brave, it's the people in our team, right? So how do we inspire the people in our team to be brave? Well, to answer that question, let's take another look at what was going on that night. Do you remember the question I kept asking my crew? Are we okay to continue, yeah? What do you notice about that question? Yes, absolutely, invite consensus, doesn't it? And what do you think most people will do when you give them the option to go along with it and con you know, consent? Yeah, absolutely, because it's far less scary than the alternative, isn't it? In fact, as this story demonstrates, People would rather die than tell you that your plan is shit, right? But we need our people to be brave. We need our people to disagree with us. So how do we do that? Well, I think we need to ask a brave question. A brave question is one that invites dissent. We invite people to disagree. And that will take courage to ask, and it will take courage to answer. 